Good morning, folks. We're starting today with the incoming plasma filament ripping away from the corona and producing a CME that will completely miss Earth. While it was the prettiest solar eruption of the day, it wasn't the most relevant. We're watching the D region absorption prediction, which shows the effects of the sun's X-ray flare output on Earth's atmosphere. The flashes you see is from a rise in solar flaring that is expected to continue today. Multiple ionization events have caused high-frequency radio blackouts and up the solar alerts. Coming to spaceweathernews.com, we find five M-class events since the uptick began, and in 94 angstroms of light, they will be easily visible as the flashes from the southern sunspot groups. Despite the flurry of increased X-ray events, particle expulsion from the corona has been minimal and we do not expect any significant CME impacts from those events. In fact, apart from the filament we saw at the start, there really were not any significant ejections of material. The one batch of sunspot groups is turning away, with the only geo-effective concerns being down south near center disk, and with a new group coming in on the north. I see two delta-class areas in that largest southern sunspot group, those are making our flares. Thus far, the incomer appears magnetically separated, lead to tail, but we've got time. Solar wind speed, in yellow, dropping. Earth's magnetic shield gets another day of rest. The northern corona hole is beginning to face Earth, but the magnetic fields in this area are not strong, and thus far, the only seismic uptick has been a swarm in the central Atlantic, right on the ridge. Now that could change in another day here as planetary geometry will become significant as well, Mercury coming in to conjoin the Sun there on Soho. Top news of the day is that Dr. Phillips over at Space Weather will be adding atmospheric cosmic ray readings to ascertain airline passenger radiation risks, a great addition to his website. The general introduction to that topic is at suspiciousobservers.org under Premium near the bottom of the Electric Earth and Sun page. Zooming in on the West Pacific, a near super typhoon is lashing Taiwan now. Prayers are with them. Hawaii, it appears this little dearie is sticking south. The system south of Mexico is slowly approaching the coastline while we're also monitoring the Gulf for system development. Top weather notes today include another PG&E problem, a lake dried up, a reservoir in California leaving thousands of dead fish, and the first snowfall of the season for Alaska almost broke records. Both stories can be found at weather.com. Also folks, if you didn't catch yesterday's morning news, that was not the day to miss. It is a time of celebration for our community in general. Also folks, just a few weeks from observing the frontier, we'd love to see you out in Pittsburgh, but we're also filming the sessions for those who cannot attend. You will have the opportunity to get those videos as well. Top viewer locations, current conditions, and shots of our star to close. It's 6.05 a.m. Eastern Time, and that's the news. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.